Hello, I'm Daniel Sellers. I am an engineer with IOTA Engineering. The purpose of this video is to explain how to wire up an ILB CP series emergency driver in your fixture. Please note that this video is conceptual and your fixture will likely be different. However, all fixtures that we are compatible with will contain the same basic components. A normal driver that operates in the UL Class 2 specification range, as well as an LED module that we can interface with. Before we begin the installation process, please be sure that power has been removed for the fixture for your safety. Once that is done, we can begin the installation process. The first step would be to disconnect the normal driver from the LED module. Next, I'm going to connect the ILBCP to the normal driver. First we start with the solid red wire, which is a positive connection, to the positive connection of the normal driver. In this case, on this driver, the positive connection is a red wire. Next, we get the solid blue wire, which is the negative connection from the ILBCP, and we'll connect that to the negative connection of the normal driver. In this case, the wire is black. Different manufacturers use different color wires for the output, so make sure to pay attention to the polarity as it's labeled on the driver. That completes the wiring from the drive from the ILBCP to the normal driver. The next step, we're going to wire up the ILBCP to the LED module. First, you take the red wire with the white stripe. This is the positive connection and we're going to connect it to the positive connection of the LED module. In this case, the wire is red. Next, we're going to take the blue-white wire from the ILBCP. This is a negative connection. We will make this connection to the negative connection of the LED module. Again, just like the driver, the LED module may have different color wires for its connections. Please refer to the label on the LED module or the installation manual as needed. That completes the connection between the ILBCP and the LED module. Next, we are going to make the power connections. The first step here is to disconnect the neutral in this case a white wire, on the normal driver to incoming neutral. Next, we're going to take a white-black wire from the ILBCP. Do note, there are two of them. It does not matter which one that you grab. There is no polarity. And you will make this connection to the normal driver. This is a driver-to-driver -driver connection only. Next, we are going to connect the power wire, which is a black-orange wire, or some may see it as black-brown. This connection will get made to an incoming unswitched line that comes directly from the electrical panel. There's no light switch on this, and the power is constant all the time. The next connection we will make will take two connections, the remaining white wire and the second white-black wire that we did not use to connect to the normal driver. These will be connected together with your incoming neutral. If you have an electrical panel that you have run for a dedicated emergency operation, the white wire would go to that panel directly instead of being connected at the same point that the white-black wire attaches for the normal driver. That completes the wiring assembly for 
power. Next, we're going to work with the test button for the ILB CP. The test button needs to be installed in the fixture where you wish to have it mounted that's visible to show operation. It does have the two wires here, both a red and a white. First connection we want to make will be the red wire with the black trace will connect to the red wire of the test button. Next, the white wire with the red trace will connect to the white wire of the test button. And that completes all of the electrical connections to the driver, the LED module, and power. The only remaining connection left is the unit connector. This, when connected, enables emergency mode on the ILBCP. This should not be connected until after power has been applied to the fixture. At this point, we have completed installation of the ILBCP emergency driver in your fixture. In the next segment, we will discuss proper testing procedure. Welcome back. In this segment, we will discuss the proper testing procedure for the ILBCP. As you can see, I have a fixture here in front of me with the ILBCP installed. The test button is mounted on the end. Your fixture will likely be different. However, the testing procedure is the same. To perform a test, simply push and hold the test button. You will see the fixture transition from normal mode to emergency mode. When you release the test button, the fixture will have a short delay and then transition back to normal mode. Please allow one hour charge time before performing the initial test and an additional 24 hours charge time before performing a full 90 minute discharge. Afterwards, refer to your ILBCP installation manual for the proper testing procedure. This concludes the testing procedure for the ILBCP. At this point, you have properly installed, wired, and tested an ILBCP. For further questions, refer to your ILBCP installation manual. You can also consult our ILBCP toolkit on our website at iotaengineering.com and you can also contact tech support. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.